In today's episode, guys, we're gonna be making customizable and adjustable trellises to suit your plant's needs, no matter what size it is. And as a matter of fact, you can also create extensions for the plant and you can make it as you go and you can have it as tall as you want. It is very easy to make and today I'm gonna show you how. Hey there everyone, it's Maria Young here and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are brand new to this channel, welcome and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me right here at my tropical plant adventures. And right here guys are the plants that I have attached to these homemade adjustable and customizable trellises. And as you can see, they are pretty large. I mean, these are standing at a good four to five feet tall. You can definitely customize it to however size your plant is growing and you definitely can add extensions to this where you can grow it as tall as you want as in this case right there. I really love these because you can add as many extensions as you want and grow it as tall as you want. It is really unlimited to what you can do with these and I love the fact that you can grow these plants to a huge size, but then you're still able to maintain and still control the size of the plants. And as you are seeing with these right here, these are actually tomato cages. I've put them into the ground within the pot, and then I've reinforced its strength by using these bamboo stakes in there as well. And if you guys do wanna see the step-by-step -step process in which we did this, you definitely can do that by clicking on the right-hand side. It'll take you to the link where you can check out that video. And if you are wondering how we would extend these tomato cages to become even larger, well, we would simply take another tomato cage right here, turn it upside down as it is now, and then we would take it, look at this, that easy guys, and we would actually put it on the top, situate it in place, and then afterwards you can use a twisty tie or some form of wire, whatever you wanna use, and secure it. And then you would have your five foot trellis that now has become a 10 foot trellis. That easy with a snap of a finger. And for those that are wondering, why in the world do I want my plants to grow so tall? Well, as you guys know, with aeroids, the taller they grow, the larger their leaves will get. So I definitely want to have the greatest potential out of my plants. I want them lush, I want them beautifully displayed and tropically delicious. And I gotta tell you guys, I am so impressed with how well these plants have grown for me on these homemade trellises. I got these sometime in the beginning of this year and majority of these plants were either starters or they were rooted cuttings and they were not even a quarter of the size of what they are now. And this is just after one grow season, guys. So it just really makes for such beautiful and lush plants to be capable of growing. And my plants do love it so much as well as I do because it's so much easier to maintain your plants in this way. And another aspect that I do love about this is the fact that it really makes it easy for me to get into the plant, see how they're doing, and when I am propagating, it allows me to get in there and propagate exactly where I want to. It's just such an easier process. So let's go ahead and check out the step-by-step -step process of how we made these homemade trellises right here. What I'm gonna be using today, guys, are these bamboo sticks right here. I'm using them as stakes. We're also going to be using a pair of scissors and some twisty tie. And of course, the whole foundation of the actual trellis is this material right here. I don't know if you guys can recognize this, but you can find this in your garden centers. And this plastic material is actually used as fencing material to keep out the critters within your garden. But of course, we're gonna be using this to make our wonderful homemade trellises. And this material right here, guys, I gotta tell you is absolutely wonderful. As you can see, it comes in a nice size roll and I've already made a couple of trellises out of this already. I would guesstimate that this can make about 15 or 
for more trellises. And what's wonderful also is it comes in different sizes as well. So however size you need your trellis to be, you can customize that also. And a little goes such a long ways, guys. Very inexpensive way to make a lot of trellises. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut this material down to size to whatever we need our trellis to be. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this really quick, show you how simple it is. Use a regular scissor and it'll cut right through there. Can you see that, guys? I hope you can see that. Cut away, cut away, cut away, bam, done. So this is the material that we're gonna be using. And what we simply do, since it's already somewhat of a cylinder shape, is just simply fashion it to however size we want it to be. And then we would simply just attach our twisty ties to it. I mean, it is that simple, guys. So here's the twisty tie. We're just inserting it through the material. And I'm just twisting it, guys. See that? Twist away. And as you can see, I have the twisty ties throughout here now. You cannot open it up. It's fully closed. And as you can see with that cylinder shape, this can actually be adjusted to however thin or wide you want it to be. And there you have it, voila, and that easy. Now all we have to do is put some stakes onto here and we'll do that with twisty ties as well. And here we are guys, as you can see, I went ahead and secured and put in place all of the stakes with the twisty ties. And you can thank me later guys for saving you the boredom of having to watch that. But as you can see, it is quite an easy process. One thing that we have to take note of is we definitely want to have the stakes extend out at the bottom so that it can fit into the pot and have the stakes hit the bottom of the pot. So that'll add more security and also stabilization for the trellis. And if you guys see some imperfections and you see something a little bit out of whack, it's a-okay guys to forgive yourself and move on. As you guys know, your plants will grow all over this trellis and you won't even hardly see it at all. Once your plant does begin to outgrow the trellis, all you would have to do is make a second extension, the second portion of the trellis. And what I normally will do is I will have it to where one of the trellis parts will go over and then I'll go ahead and twisty tie it in place again. And then you will have your second part of the trellis. So you'll double up the size and you can keep doing this for as long as you want to for as tall as you need it to be. And here we are guys, this is the completed extended version of our trellis as you can see right here. It's definitely doubled up in size. This right here will stand at a good five foot tall. And the main thing that we want to take note of is the fact that we want to use as much twisty tie as we need. So don't be stingy on that because we definitely want to have a stable and a strong foundation for our plants to grow on and for the trellis to be capable of holding it throughout the duration of what you need it to hold it for. And now that this is done and complete, guys, I have a certain philodendron Brazil that I'm gonna be using this for. It's been misbehaving for quite a long while now. And all of this running around all over town is going to stop. We are definitely gonna keep it in check and under control. And guys, I do wanna let you know that I'm making another video where I'm gonna show you exactly how I grow my plants on a pool noodle. That's right, you heard it correctly. So definitely stay tuned for that.
you have it folks that is the way that i make my customizable and also my adjustable trellises and i gotta tell you what i do love most about it is i can grow my plants as large as i want to giving it ample space to flourish yet at the same token still conserving space and controlling the plant okay so that is the best feature you have so many benefits to being capable of using this adjustable and customizable trellis to suit your needs thank you guys so much for tuning into yet another episode of my tropical plant adventures and i do hope that you guys have learned something new from this video and i hope you guys like this video as well if you did make sure you like share and also subscribe it really does help out my channel and as you guys already know i do truly love and appreciate each and every one of you guys all and i will see you guys later and i also grow with you guys later as well on my next advent see you guys later bye bye peace <laughs>